the concept of key line, it's just a particular contour line on a property that allows you to lay out where dams and roads should be and where fences should be and where water storage should be. It's just the nature of one particular contour that always seems to occur in valleys wherever you are. You've got the climate. We can't individually do anything about that. You've got the shape of the land. So that's the second in the scale. This is a scale of things that are more and more easy to control. And so you've got the climate, you've got the shape of the land and the area that you're working in, which is the boundary. So you've got the shape of the land. Now, what can we do with the shape of the land? We've planned the water. Where can it be stored? Where can it be transported to? What can be irrigated? What can be used as a feeder supply for the runoff to in, enhance the catchment area of the dams? And those water lines and the dam sites are very fixed. Then they were there right from the from the beginning. So those um, those features they have to fit. Now once you've got the the water sorted out, then the next thing after that is that is where to put the roads. You run the roads up and down on the ridge lines, and if you've got channels that are catching runoff, you get across onto the lower side of that channel, and you don't need culverts. You don't get wet, boggy valleys because you've got the channels diverting the flows into the storage sites. One of the things about the layout of land is that if you are ploughing parallel to a contour line, after a few minutes, you're off the contour. So that's very difficult to sort of visualise, but just imagine you have a sheet of paper and that's a paddock. And if you start at the bottom of that sheet of paddy, that sheet of paper, and you're ploughing parallel up, you will climb up, if it twists the paper, you will climb up very steeply on one side and not on the other. So now if you rain on that, all these lines are no longer contours because they've climbed up here faster than they've gone up the slope. So water will always drift to that side. And if conversely, if you plough down, you're dropping very fast on this side where it's steep, but you're only quite flat on this side. So the contours will all tend to drift down this way. So all the water, as it rains, will drift to you this way. Now, the key line itself, it just so happens that we walk up any valley. And as you get to the woods, and I'm talking about a little valley, maybe a few hundred metres, three or four hundred metres, something of that nature. You walk up a valley like that and you come to a point where every valley, same, you come to a point where suddenly the valley gets steep. So then you continue up the valley and it's quite steep. Now, if you go back to what we just described, that means that if you plough parallel to a contour line, just at that point, you will be, one side of the paddock will be climbing quickly and the other side will be climbing slowly. So, from, and that where it changes shape like that, that quick change is the key point of the valley. When you put a little wall across a, a valley to store the water behind it, small, I'm not talking about enormous properties or anything, but a dam wall that might be 50 metres, 100 metres long, something like that at the most. When you, when you build a wall across a valley like that, you want to store as much water as you can. So you don't want a steep hill behind the the wall of the dam or you won't hold any water. You want it as flat as possible so you'll store a lot of water. So when you think about it, you want to be down the valley where it's flatter to put the wall in and you don't want to be up the valley where it's too steep behind where you won't hold any. And it just so happens when you think about it, it's the key line, which is where that transition occurs, that should be the water level of the, dam, the first dam you build. So that is the highest point you can build a, an economical dam on the farm. So the key line becomes the water level of a good place to put dams. And key lines in each little valley, each valley is slightly less. And if you're lucky, you turn a tap on behind the wall of that dam that's a pipe through it, and that will, just cheating a little bit, that will run a contour around to the next valley and end up about the key line. The outlet from this dam becomes the, about the key line of the next dam downstream. 
So they all link up like that. So each dam can feed each dam, which has never been thought of before with irrigation, conventional stuff. So that was that is where the whole concept of key line makes it easy to lay out farms, store water, retain water in the soil, and retain water for irrigation or for stock water. That's the principle of key line.